Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy the Saint, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. This is Alpha 16. Welcome back, survivors. Uh, it is day 11, and I just got a notification on one of my YouTube videos that someone spotted the airdrop that I missed uh, a few days back. Um, it was the one that I was running along in this direction and got up in here into the desert and was looking for it. I ran past it. I ran too far, and I kind of feel stupid about it. No, no need to troll me in the comments. I know I'm dumb. <laughs> so, I ran right past it going on up here into the desert. So, it should be right in this area right in here. Um, I'm just going to put a map marker right here as a quick little waypoint. Um, and we're gonna go run out here and see if we can find that. It should be in between a couple of trees. I went back and rewatched the video. Uh, and then also, I'm gonna go over here to the cave today and scrap the workbench so we can get started on a workbench and get that started, get crafting that. Uh, gets a lot of new, it unlocks a lot of new recipes we'll be able to make. So let's get on the road. Let's get to it. Let's go find this airdrop. There's one more tree up here. I know I was just running in this direction, so I should be really close to it. Where the heck is it? If I run past this stupid airdrop again... There it is! There it is! There it is! Right there! Right as I ran past the tree! And see what I did in the last video? I was looking up here into the trees, up on that hilltop, trying to spot the airdrop up there on the hill. And I did not even consider looking down. And I ran... Well, I think I ran to the... It was on the right of me. I ran right past it between these trees as I'm sitting here looking up, and it was right there the whole time. So awesome! That's two airdrops in a row, like two days in a row. Mini bikes for dumb shits book! Awesome! We can start making our mini bike now, and we got a good sniper rifle barrel, an AK receiver, and a rocket launcher barrel. So we have some pretty cool parts, so thank you for spotting that for me in the comments. Now... We've got that. That's checked off our list today. Um, let me put my marker back on my base so I can find it again. Let's see. My base is on the clay right here. Put that quick waypoint there. And now we want to go over here to this cave and get scrap that, um, that workbench that's sitting there so we can use it, bring it back to our base, and we can use it for our own nefarious purposes for crafting bullets. Uh, which we are going to need for the upcoming hordes. Uh, you know, the 14's coming up, and the night 14's not really that hard, but you really want to be prepared by night 21. You really want to have your act together by night 21 and be ready for the horde, because that's when the um, the cops start coming in, and the dogs and stuff like that. It really ramps up the difficulty on night 21. All right, we're getting close to the cave entrance now. Let's see, it should be right around here somewhere in a hole in the ground. Been grabbing some aloe plants and some yucca while we've been out here in the desert. We can take those back and craft up some healing items and some more food and water out of the... Well, I guess water out of the yucca. Uh, here we go. Here is the little cave. Hopefully there are no zombies respawning around here. And we can sneak up and grab this thing. Let's see, just use our wrench... Come on, click it. There we go. And we should be able to break this thing down. That's odd. It's giving me the materials for it, but it's not giving me the workbench. They might have changed it, I guess. I guess we're about to find out. Um, I wonder if I have to learn the skill. I don't know. This is the way it's always worked. And I did not get the workbench. Crap, crap, crap. So, is it a skill you can learn? Let me see. It's a skill to learn. Okay, so we gotta buy it, but we need tool smithing at level 2 and construction tools at level 20. Okay, so tool smithing. We've already got that. Construction tools, we've got that. We need a recipe for it. Mmm. Maybe that's why it won't let us get it. I don't know. Wait. Why can't I buy that? Oh, I don't have enough points. It costs 10 points. I've only got 8. Ah, crap. Okay, so I need to level up, and then I'll be able to get it. Curious if the zombies respawned in here or not. 
Nah, they hadn't respawned. Let's grab those mushrooms. Sweet. We missed that in here last time. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and run around and level up today. And then I'm going to build ourselves a workbench. Hopefully I've got all the stuff I need to make it. I don't know. We may have to scrap a car or a refrigerator or something to get the materials. But I need to get a workbench going today so we can start making some bullets. Hey, there we go! Ding! Killed the big man, the biker zombie. The zombie biker. Ooh. Ooh. He had some pants and a SWAT helmet. Hmm. I wonder if that helmet's better. But we did level up. That's the main thing we wanted. Um, I wonder if that helmet is better than what I'm wearing. What have I got? I've got animal hide hood. Would it replace that or would it replace my goggles? Okay, it just replaces that. So the hide hood is 14, 13, 9. And this biker helmet is ever so slightly better. Yeah, so we'll take that. Awesome. Uh, let me scrap that, I guess. What else did he have? Some black goth pants. Um, I'm just going to scrap. Scrap that, I guess? Oh, I can't scrap it. Um, let me drop something out of my inventory here that I can scrap. Let's see if we can scrap it this way once it's in our inventory. No, we just cannot scrap that at all. What's it made out of? Leather. Okay. And that might be pretty good then. Let's see if it's better than what we've got. So I'm wearing, let's see, pants, pants, plant fiber. Uh, time to upgrade the plant fiber. Yeah, let's take that and just pitch it. I'm not even worried about scrapping that. And we're going to wear some hot new goth pants. <laughs> we look absurd. But we got some new gear. We leveled up. Let's see. Um, where's the skill system? We can now learn the workbench. Sweet! We can go make ourselves a workbench now. Um, I'm actually out here pretty close to the trader, so I'll visit the trader on the wind circle back around towards the base. Um, maybe the trader's got some stuff. I collected a couple of tires out here along the road. Maybe I can sell him a tire. Maybe he's got something I can buy. We'll check that out. And then we'll head back to the base and see if we can't make a workbench today. Well, look at that. We made it to the trading settlement. He's got tons of blueberries here. So let me see if I can sell something to him. Grab these blueberries and uh, we can make ourselves some herbal antibiotics just in case the next time we get infected we will be ready for it. Trader Jimmy! What's up, guy? How's it going? It's all over his head. Is, he, is that a tattoo or something on his head? You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? I'm not bringing any counterfeit money in here, no. <laughs> what do you got for sale that's good, guy? All right, now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm a getting. I sold him uh, the spare tire that I had there, so um, freed up an inventory slot. He actually pays pretty well for those. He pays pretty well for some tools, too, so I may craft up some tools and bring some of them back uh, one day when I got some more time. We can craft up some tools and, make, and sell them, pick up some money. Maybe he'll have some... Um, some more books and stuff, because that's what we probably need to focus on getting schematics and maybe weapons and that sort of thing. I could probably bring my old pistols back here and sell them too, the ones that I'm not going to use, the ones that are kind of janky. Anyways, uh, let's head back to the base and craft ourselves our workbench now. Alright, so we're back here at the base and we're ready to craft a workbench, I think. What do I need? I got my 25 forged iron, I've got a wrench. Right? I've got my wrench. Yes, I've got my wrench here in my inventory. I just made myself a claw hammer. So I've got a claw hammer and a wrench. I've got the wood. I need some mechanical parts. 20 of them. I think we got enough? Yes, we got 28. Okay, so we had, uh, we got those from scrapping that, uh, that workbench, actually. So let's get to crafting here. Craft ourselves a workbench. Awesome. How long is that going to take? It's going to take five whole minutes uh, plus another minute because I was going to craft myself another hammer because I forgot to make those because they're really useful for upgrading the wood much quicker upgrading your buildings much faster than the, the stone axe and the, be a better tool to carry around from now on but I'll skip ahead to the, the next five or six minutes here it'll be dark by then I think 
And there we go, our workbench is done. I'm going to put it in my hot bar here, finally. Uh, one other thing of note, the hunting rifle, I was assembling all my um, weapon parts in here. Hang on. Let me place this thing first before I start talking. Um, I can't really see very well. It is in the dark. Uh, right here in the corner is where I want it. Look at a zombie outside. We've got a few of them. Great. i got a wandering horde. So I started upgrading the walls in here to, to place this. Uh, but now we've got our workbench. Uh, it sounds like just a wandering horde. I don't think they have detected us, so we should be good. Made up some bullet casings, some bullet parts, and that sort of thing, and started combining some of my weapons. I think I can make a hunting rifle now. Um, with the receiver, yes, we can. Sweet. Um, is this parts better than those parts? Level 160 versus 139. No. But, uh, yeah, cool. Now we have got a hunting rifle. It's a very, very terrible hunting rifle. But we've got a finished hunting rifle. We've got our sawed-off shotgun. If I had a sawed-off, or if I had a regular stock, I could make a regular shotgun because I've got a full-length barrel, which is better than the, uh, than the uh, sawed-off shotgun. The full-length shotgun is, is a good bit better. So we'll add that rifle to our inventory here. We're going to start crafting some bullets in preparation for the horde. Uh, probably spend tomorrow gathering some wood materials and uh, finishing up the base. Add some more spikes, that sort of thing. Start getting ready for the horde. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Post any comments or questions down below. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.